Last up on Halo for an hour tonight. We have Omno. Omno? Not sure how you pronounce it, but... This is a very atmospheric little puzzle platformer that had a really chill, pretty kind of vibe to it. I don't know too much about what's going on in the story of this game, but it caught my attention for just kind of being really beautiful looking, so I wanted to check it out, and thankfully I also got a review key, so we are here to check it out in Halo for now. For, before we begin, of course, if you like what you see, do think about giving the video a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that too, because it does help out. If you haven't uh, come by Twitch as well, uh, come on by. Uh, trying to hit partner over here, and I really can't li do without your help. That's not just me saying that I literally do need more people and each and every one of you to come by Twitch and watch and help me reach that partner goal. I really appreciate it. Also, we have a pretty cool Discord community if you want to check that out and hang out with some pretty neat people. But, Omno. Omno. Let's see what this is all about. If the game is too quiet, stream goers, let me know and I will adjust the volume. Though I think it's about right. This is us. A humanoid of some sort. All right, what could we do? We can jump. We can look at creatures and glyphs. Nice. Hmm. We can... Is this like a radar, maybe? Or a shield? Neat, okay. What else can we do? That seems to be about all I can do. Okay. At least for the moment. This is very pretty. Again, let me know if the volume should be up a little bit, because I think that this game could probably be a stand a bit louder. It's not an action game, it's a little more chill. So if the audio is a bit quiet, I'll turn it up a bit. Just let me know. Are you on the water? I mean... Uh, should it? <laughs> should it? <laughs> probably should it. <laughs> Okay, so if I want to go in the water, I need to make my trip short. <laughs> okay. Let's start exploring then. Tie a bit? I was thinking to tie a bit too. Let's see if the options can let me uh, just turn it up a bit. Hold surf button. Hmm. Curious. Oh, graphics call could be increased more? No, it can't actually. It's actually already on max, so there you go. But I can always adjust the volume on the side. I feel like four bars is not going to make us suffer. There we go. Sounds seem to be able to get louder on their own. But if the game is relatively quiet, it's okay to have a few sounds a bit louder. I'll jump, jump higher. Oh, okay. I want. Oh, that's like flamingos, but they're. Oh, that. Okay, I immediately like this game. Look at these things. It's, it's, at first glance, it's a flamingo, but then I think it's also a plant. Oh, wow, they have little interactions of each other. Huh. It's a shame I can't go over there and visit them, because I will die in the swamp before I even get there. Plant mingos. Can't interact with these guys, though. Hello. New journal entry. Fricklets. Friglets. Shy creatures fond of swamps and boggy water. I think I need to walk up to creatures to unlock them then. Okay. So I need to get over to the, the plant mingos somehow. Maybe from that ledge. Maybe I could just barely make it if I jump off that ledge. It's worth a shot. Might be able to just barely make it. Probably not though. Oh! Nope, they don't even let me walk if I jump off. Okay, fair enough. 
All right, I'm gonna have to find another way to find to reach the plant mingos. What's this? Heed the call. Set out on your journey. Follow the path of the light to the light. Okay. Oh, there's lunch grabbing. That's actually good. I'm glad to see that. Maybe we'll find some more easily accessed plant mingos later. I make it to that? So close, yet so far. But alas, I think I am a little too weak to go off the beaten path too far. It's more just bog. It's just murky bog quicksand. Oh, hello. New journal entry, Mar Marula, Marula. Semi-mythic. Semi Glimpse, but only rarely, perhaps once a decade. Subject to many stories. Semi-mythic? Ah. Oh no, I was gonna land on him, but then he, then he moved. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can I land on his head? I'm kind of curious. Nope. Oh no. Save me. <laughs> Alright, um. What was over there? I didn't get to go check that island. Actually, it doesn't really look like there was anything over there. This is very pretty music. What we got here? Now come back. A little fly thing. Flying thing. What's this? Ooh, the light. Whack-a-lumps. Uh, whack Strange, ageless beings. Some say they are more plant than animal. It, it's Woba its tail. Which is, of course, the real part of the Pokemon, because the rest of it's just a decoy, but... Hello? <laughs> okay. Just stand him. The, either Wolbuff its tail or the Hell Valley Sky Trees in Super Mario Galaxy. I can't tell which. I think they might be the Hell Valley Sky Trees, actually. <laughs> they give me that. They give me that vibe, but they're cuter. I hope. I, I hope at least one of you knows what I'm talking about. The sky trees are huge. That's true. These are the mini. This is their. This is their unevolved form. <laughs> I don't know.
Zero percent. Oh. I have a, uh... Wait, then what was the first area called? Or maybe this is all walk we pick. Oh, okay. So my thing... my I was right. My thing is kind of a raider of some sort. Oh, yeah, there's like a collectible right there. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Doesn't take much, does it? <laughs> Hi. Oh. I got... something? Okay, cool. Hello. Lumi bees. They only light up in company. A symbol of companionship and unity. They seem to give me light. I don't know what that does for me exactly, but... What? Oh! Okay, there's three symbols, so I guess I need to collect three of those things. Alright. Sounds good. That's that's a very that's a stock cartoon s s sound that you hear in many cartoons, huh? I don't know what I'm collecting, but I guess it's it's like going on my arm. Hmm. Gather more energy. Yep. With no memory of how my pilgrimage began, I fell all the closer to light and the new world beyond the gate. Soon I too will step through it. This game's theme is light. What's this? Huh. I don't know what that was. Oh, it told me. I think. It, I think that. I think meditating at that told me of locations, basically. Interesting. Look around more. Turtles, <laughs> peaceful beings who prefer seclusion. That's fair. They have a lot of eyes. Oh, wait. oh, they don't have a lot of eyes. They just have a lot of. Huh. Oh. Oh, what happened here? Can I go on the? Oh no! Don't go on the swap. <laughs> I don't know what that did, exactly. I seem to have more, I mean, I have more and more light coming down my arm now. Which, uh, that must be good, right? Two. Now to... What's this guy doing over here? He looks kind of lonely. Can I go visit him? No. <laughs> I think I can. I think I could do that job, actually. Oh yeah, they have like light things on their head. That's interesting. 
Nope, I am not invincible. Well, <laughs> good to know. No. <laughs> Actually, the speed boost doesn't help much. I'll be honest. <laughs> Kind of hinders. Actually, wait. Yeah, we got yeah. Oh, there is little to no point doing that. I'm not actually dead, game, but okay. <laughs> I think the game assumed I was dead, but I didn't sink. I noticed. I don't know what the speed boost is for, though. I seem to be alone on my way. Still, I leave these messages behind for those who may, may wish to follow. For myself, for my memories. If only this endless rain would stop. Rain, huh? Oh, hello. Lapa crabs. It is said that all stones were once alive, but they used to be gigantic beans, big as mountains. Now they're these little skittery guys. Oh wow! I'm surprised I made that. I. I Apparently the game was surprised too, because it just had me die. Interesting. Oh. Oh, that's a bit tight. Can I do that? I think to get up there, I need uh, the speed boost thing. So, let me try that. Hey, you. Aw. Or maybe I was supposed to get another way. Feels a little out of bandage. Maybe I shouldn't be here. I know there was no ledge grab, so I assume I just can't get that. Oh, I see. Yeah. No, I overthought it. That's all. Now it makes sense. Oh, it's like, uh, energy. I'm taking, like, a power source. Huh. Oh, and while I have the power source, I don't think I can use the... Okay, okay, hold on. I get it. Once you have the power source, you need to use it to use the staff otherwise, I think. Okay. Alright. And I still need the block, right? Yeah. I noticed what that message just said, though. You were leaving Aqua Pit, and it said, uh... So I'm about to leave, but apparently I haven't found everything, because 85%. So I guess I shouldn't leave just yet. I like that, though. I like that a lot. Check this out. If I go over here, you are leaving. Aqua Pit, 85%. It's like, well, I don't want to leave yet. I haven't found, I haven't found everything. So let's go look around some more. Isn't that where an orb used to be that it's leading me to? Hmm. Yeah. There was an orb here at one point, but, uh... I guess it still tells you about where, quote-unquote, the orbs are, but... 
All right. Oh, but there's something in that direction I haven't gotten. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see what it, that's about. Oh wait. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm silly. Uh, the ones. So when the light, when the orbs go to a pillar, they do that, right? This orb isn't at that pillar. It's just hovering up there. I need to grab it somehow. How would you wager I do so? Probably like that. There we go. How are we doing now? That's more like it. Okay, 100%. I, I appreciate that. That is a very good system. Not only is it there a quick way to check how much of an area you've done, but it also tells you, it actually informs you when you're leaving an area and even, and like, even puts up the percentage you have uh, as you're leaving. So, it's basically like, oh, you're about to leave uh, X for Y. Uh, here's your progress at X. Do you want to leave X? It's like, uh, like, I, I appreciate that. It lets you, ch it lets you make the choice, you know? I think they want every level transition to be as pretty as possible. I'm okay with this. I gotta stop waking up like this. Oh, that's cute. That's actually- Oh, it's the flying guy I saw earlier. He seems to be watching me. Or kind of keeping tabs on me. So the gather energy spire just required me to have, well, full energy, which just, you know, collect energy from around, then go to the spire, and then get, get thing. Fair enough. I don't know where I'm at yet, so we have to look around and figure that out. Alright, what we got? Yeah, there's that guy again. He's, we've been seeing him for a bit. All right, where have we ended up today? We're an onion person, yes. <laughs> I kind of see that too. Agnia Plateau, okay. Dash! Oh, we got a new ability! Oh, cool. Can I do that in midair? Sure can! Okay, that's gonna be useful. That's also gonna be a great time saver, I appreciate that. So I guess I should always interact with anything that clearly has energy, like these things. Those who find the light find freedom. This is a good. This is actually a really good unlock system because, like, just a little bit in the game, you get a dash, which you know that's a movement bonus. Silence is astounding, save for the Al Altriax call. I can delay no longer. The gate's light is calling to me. The light, light, light is definitely the uh, word of the game, isn't it? Light seems to be a very important thing. Not exactly original, per se. I mean, a lot of games have light as a focus, but... You know, that's good. Nothing wrong with a little light here and there. It's traditional, rather than trite. What's this? Is, is, this, is this something? This looks like... Yeah, this definitely looks like science. Hello! No, no, come back! I wanted to talk to you. 
All right, well. Feels like only yesterday that people wandered their, these paths and crossed these bridges as I am now. The whispering winds in the canyon re remind me of a time before the Great Departure, and of a people in harmony of all of creation. A lot of story games to sell. You think so? Flumes. Obsessed with anything that shines and glitters. So, miniature dragons? I'll take that. It can't be under, it can't be overstated that I really appreciate these this dash. It is such an efficient way of moving around. Oh, I like this puzzle. This puzzle This puzzle requires you to find the path that makes the most sense for the how the blocks move. I think I see it. Basically, these will raise way too fast if I yeah, like that one I almost messed up, but that's actually a cool puzzle because you kind of have to. I kind of figured out like it's probably going to be like this path because this path makes the most sense for like a puzzle. I was right. What are these little things? Shroobs! Live little beans to move as a pack. If left alone, they will weaken and eventually die. Oh no, gotta gather them back up. Also, they're dogs, apparently. They're also like Yorkshire Terriers. Pretty much. They sound like puppos. <laughs> like small puppos. I must re-herd them or they're going to die. There we go. Much better. Oh, if you touch them, you get a whole bunch. Hard to touch him though. Woo. Oh, I got enough energy. Okay, cool. Let's go back to the thing. I think I saw. There it is. Basically, once I see the speed boost, I know I have enough energy to do this. So, there we go. Hmm. I think that activated a puzzle that time. Oh. They don't have any more. Okay. <laughs> Never mind then. What is this? Frummers. None too agile, but bury enough stamina to fly over the continent without, without over a continent without rest. That sounds pretty impressive, actually. The only thing I don't like about this game's sound design, I don't like those little plants that have the cartoon side effect. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He went somewhere. I want to follow him. Oh, I don't know where he went, though. I do like that to unlock a general idea of the area, like on your map, you have to meditate a bit, and it does a circle. I like that. Slightly time-consuming, but it works really well. Where does he go when he does that? I'd like to keep track of him, but I, it's hard to. I am leaving all of this behind. All the creatures and the beauty that surrounds me. 
leaving to find a better world out there in the light. What is it like, the world behind that gate? I'll have the answer very soon. This world is very beautiful, I do, but I am not satisfied with it. <laughs> I want a better one. <laughs> like, what? They, they move so fast I can't keep up with them. I think that's intentional. <laughs> Huh. What precisely did that accomplish? <laughs> Let's, unless we get on that ledge, I guess, but what's up here? Not much. I can, however, go from that ledge to... Speed is kind of actually a, kind of not useful because I have to be fairly precise a lot of times. Okay, what what I I'm I'm fairly perplexed. I knocked this pillar over, but what did that accomplish for me? Oh wait, wait 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 wait. Ah, that's what it accomplished. Tricky. up here what do you guys think did I end have I ended the stream of a good game I think I have I always like the I always like a good wind down game for Haller for an hour to end the stream with if I if I can There we go. Okay. Just refilling. So I activated this puzzle. I think this was an optional puzzle that I activated. Also, what's this? Oh, it's a jump thing. I'm gonna guess that's forward progress if I go that way. Kind of looks forward progressy. What else we have over here? Trees wobble. Huh. I heard some sort of gazelle in the distance. That's kind of neat. Here we go. Plateau Master. Oh, really? Oh, look at that, 100%. Well, that's weird. I unlocked an optional puzzle and everything. I don't feel nearly... I don't feel quite done. Did I just hurt myself? I did. I just hurt myself. Falling is a thing. I don't know if I hurt hurt myself, but... <laughs> certainly took a bit, of, a bit of a tumble there. I just want your jewels to relax. So I have 9 of 41 creatures. That kind of gives you a general idea of how long the game might roughly be. Alright, so... I, I see that... Oh, the green, the green guy's up there too. Alright, so let's see here. I clearly have a couple puzzles here. Uh, wait, this can be pushed, can't it? It can. Okay, now this makes a little more sense. All right. Uh, push that once. Okay, well, that's a little more than I meant, but that's fine. Okay, that should be about. Okay, that should work. Ooh. 
Wait. It's possible that I could, uh... Oh, no, I get it. Also, it's very clever how it bounces so you can remove... Oh, wait. It bounces away so you can push it again, I think. Hold on a second, actually. All right, I, I think I understand how this works. Uh, all right, I think I think that's actually right. I think I have it set up right. I'll see if I'm right in a second. Yeah, this is do. Ah, maybe that puzzle wasn't so optional after all then. Okay. I hope the I hope the area percentage I hope that um counts the animals. Cause I'm not actually sure if it does. Move it on. I hear, like, I hear an animal in this direction. Don't know what it is, though. Just that I know I hear a new one over this way. Actually, hold on. I think I missed something. Aha! Saved it for a style from falling there. I either missed... I may have missed nothing at all, but I want to check something. One thing I'd like to know. Okay. I do like the little green guy. I wonder when we can uh, get his animal description. He might be important though, considering he was following us from the previous level and also woke up and we've got to see him and he ran off. So he's probably important. I don't know what he. I don't know what he is. I don't know what he's doing, but perhaps we'll find out. Weird antelope sounds or whatever that is. Gonna find out what that is soon, I'm sure. You're leaving Agnia Plateau. I am indeed. Oh no. I'm leaving it in leaving it in a way I wasn't supposed to, but I left it in a different way. <laughs> Jumping off the plateau is one way to leave the plateau. Sounds elkish. It just I just know it sounds equine. Right before a checkpoint, too. Oh, oh, burbs. Do I not get burbs in the animal list? Okay. How about Nessie's? Hello, not block, not what, Loch Ness. Oh, thank you. Alley tracks. These ancient guardians linger in the great cannon's shadow, calling out to one another through the mist. They have very small heads. They are very big, though. Look at how big that guy is. Look at, look at that. Oh, you can see his... Oh, I appreciate that. I was like, what if I look down? Yes, you can see their whole body. I thought I thought the developers would cop out and just hide their body in the mist, but nope. You can actually see all of them. Huh. Okay. The game is still doing what I said, where it wants to make every level transition pretty in some way. We seem to be a bit of a beast tamer.
Fasiosaur, I believe. Is that what you're trying to go for? I think that's it. That's right, I think that is what they were called. Well, it's not really a Plesiosaur, though, because it has it has feet. It's It has a Plesiosaur-like appearance in some ways, but it's honestly more like, uh... Well, to go with Lamb Before Time's term for them, because I could never remember the actual word for them. Long necks. <laughs> Can we remember what the long neck is technically actually called? Rockiosaurus. Thank you. That's it. What if I, like, go down their back? I, like... I, like... Oh no. Oh no, they're not solid. Only their head is solid. Okay. The apprentice. Achievement unlocked. Hold on, I'm kinda of curious. What's down here? Ow. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm gonna fall. Oh, oh where'd he go? He he routed the quarter and blipped out of existence. That's a shame. All right, that's I, I crossed the death plane. That's fine. Hey, it was worth a look around. I'm go, you know, I'm always curious. Always curious what I'll run into. What about down this way? Woo! Oh, that's also past the death plane. <gasps> it's Lugia. Kind of look like Lugia when it at that angle. It's not really Lugia. Alright, what we got? The teaching. Hmm. I guess they're teaching. Those people. Teaching about the light, I guess. I like these little statues. These are kind of neat. This is, there's an elegant simplicity to them. Oh, I can climb these. I didn't actually expect that would work. Uh, huh. Nice. Oh, a visible wall. Rude. <laughs> I was like feeling pretty proud of myself for getting up there, but it didn't let me go any higher. To be fair, that was probably a smart decision on their part. Oh, more dinosaurs. Malala. 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 Malala's plane. Beerus owns this place, I guess. Malala's plane. What's this? Let me rob the banana plant. It's a bit floppy. Uh, got more barkers. While it's a little tricky to catch them, it is worth it. Fill up the energy bar pretty fast with them, I think. Oh wow, no kidding. Alright, I'm full. Those mushrooms look like a uh, jumpy puzzle to me. Let's see about that. Oh, oh, I think, uh... Look at those things. Those are neat. I like those. Kind of like manta rays a little bit. No, oh, there's nothing up here, actually. Hmm. That's fine. Oh, no, no, that's not true, actually. Right here. <laughs> wow, I corrected that jump just in time. <laughs> that was a reflex. That was a reflex create. Uh, uh, that was a reflex uh, correction. Is the word I'm looking for. Very fun. So this soundtrack is very good. I like this soundtrack quite a lot. 
You can always get me with a bit of quality violin strings and and the and the occasional chorus, you know? Like don't don't overdo it, but put it here and there. This is like really well composed, honestly. <laughs> like I think oh that's a whole area that's an area over there too. Okay, I'll go there in a sec. With knowledge of the light and the power it grants, the staff bearers became our leaders. I'll rest for just a moment longer, gather my breath, feel the wind on my face one last time. Hi there. Hello. Chrono, Chrono Russ. Sedimentary long-lived creatures, known to, known, as, known to some as witnesses of time, content to watch the world flow by. That is some chill heckin' vibes. Hello. The only real gameplay complaint I have this game is that the speed boost you get off of these guys, well, kind of satisfying. It's very easy to careen off a cliff while using it. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's very useful, it's just kind of pretty. It is, however, very useful to know, oh, I'm full on energy, because when you, you, only, you only get the boost if you're full on energy, so. It's a good way to know that you're full. I don't mind the speed boost. It's not useless or anything. It's just if there's any platformer, if there's any platforming I must do, it's not very helpful. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, how high is this India? Okay. So you need a little helping hand there, and then a helping hand over there to reach. Okay. I think I understand, and I, I assume I can move. No, I can't move that. Okay. Wait. Actually, wait. No, 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 no. Maybe I can. Is there a switch to move this somewhere? I don't know, it might be just stuck there. Yeah, I think it's just stuck there, never mind. Oh, okay, this is good. I'm glad to see that Chronorus shows up at the bottom of the list. That means that if I miss an animal, I'll know because there'll be a blank spot. So I haven't missed any animals up until now. There's probably two animals in the other, in the other section of this area that I just missed, so I'll get those in a minute. First though, let's see. Um. So, to get up on this... Okay, so... The, I think I just need to... Oh, okay. Oh, there it goes. I clearly need this platform to actually get up to... Uh, anywhere, honestly. After that... We'll climb up there, and then go up there, and then we'll... Yeah, okay. So if I push this one, it's kind of... There we go. That should be fine. Ow. Oops, too far. There we go. Oh, there's a shortcut back too. That's very convenient. Yay. Oh, I see one of the new animals. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's hiding. Do you see the new animal? It's secret. Where is it? Do, do you see where the, where the new animal is? Hmm. <laughs> Hello. No, no, you're getting too late, buddy. The jig's up. <laughs> uh, twiv Twivellas. Adra fibrous. Possibly some strange breed of flower. I don't see the pseudo wood of. I bet I can. Oh, my. Oh, oh, my. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> That's actually kind of neat. <laughs> Do 
The light lives in every animal and every stone, and the old staff bearers learned to harness it. The juices of the light were passed from generation to generation, and the staff bearers brought balance and prosperity to the world. That's three. Which means I guess I can go solve that puzzle and probably progress. Uh, before I do that... Oh, I went way through it. Okay. Actually, I uh, may as well look at the puzzle a bit. So... Let's see here. 57%. We're missing a lot of this area. Including, well, some sort of animal. I still need to find something around here. At the least, at the very least, one animal. I should probably keep looking just in case there's another one. Hmm? Oh, okay. I believe this is progress. Where else can I go? Is there any other areas? By the way, it's very subtle, but the the vocals have this electronic fill. They 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 kind of cut themselves off. It's really interesting, actually. Like they 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 electronically chop. Up in an interesting way. Okay, well, I got this now. Oh, I see. I can use this to. Ah. Oh. All right, sure. What's this do? Oh, okay. Let me guess. Take the energy back. Move to the next location. I get it. I get it. That, that, this probably leaves the area, but I might as well solve the puzzle. Oh, I didn't actually need the energy. Oh, I do later, but I took it a little early. Okay, leave that there. Oops, nope, nope, not yet. Wait, hold on. Just wanted to check something. Alright, actually, yeah, that's right. That is correct. Leave it like that. Yeah, this will be fine. It is only a shame that Carceris wasn't able to to see this game because he would have liked this game a lot. I'll have to point out the gameplay to him later. All right. Now, if I'm correct, I need to take this. I may have made this slightly more convoluted than I. I think. I, oh, you know what? I think the last creature I need in this area is probably those dudes flying around. But I don't know how to get them as a as a listing yet, so I have to figure that out. I knew it, and then we gotta put this back here. There we go. I knew it. Solved. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to leave the plane just yet, though, because we're missing a lot here. So let's see if the map could oh, oh no you don't uh, I thought I got him that time okay they've been missing a lot let's go look around probably find some way to get the sky animal along the way I'm very fond of the soundtrack very very oh yeah there's just this one oh oh here's one of the animals I guess oh ow <laughs> I'm fine hello it's a glambella hey you uppercutted me how rude Plant-like in appearance, but with, with a strange but charming way of show, showing joy, and that is to 
just kind of flap you away using their heads. Which actually is useful. Thank you very much. That was a very convenient uh, attack thing they did. Oh. This one's taking a nap. Hello. Oh, you were laying on one. Give me that. Belly warmed power core thing. I'll take it. Light guides me on my path and gives me strength. It lives in everything that, from plants on the plains to unassuming rocks. The staff bearers learn to harness and control the light's power. Collected. Hundred percent. Well, we seem to be done. I'm a little disappointed I couldn't get listings on those guys in the sky, but they're just up there, so I can't really reach them. Maybe we'll get listings of them later. I was a little curious. I got some extra power core things, right? I thought those normally unlock something when you get them all. But, uh, let's go for one more spin. That is a really cool effect, by the way, just how they did the camera on that part. I appreciate it. I almost have full energy. I want to fill it up the rest of the way. Ow. Also, I think Folly doesn't make me lose any energy. It's just a little effect, a visual effect of me losing it for a second. Hmm? Oh. All right. We can turn to petals again. Yep. an appropriate chorus line addition. I approved of that hell. <laughs> oh, here we are again with the weird green thing that keeps following us around. It always takes a nap with us. It doesn't want to be anywhere near us when we're awake. But when we're not awake, it sticks with us.
It seems to be like it it wants to stick with us, but it doesn't want to be near us when we're conscious, <laughs> basically. Oh, goodness me. How much, uh, wait, hold on, not that. The best way to judge is 13 to 41. Well, I think I'll stop here. Let's, uh, let's open the, let's look at the next area, but we won't actually do it. It's cold. This, this, this is kind of interesting, actually. Let yourselves be carried. The new world awaits. What is this new world? Why is why was nobody satisfied with this world? If this world was dying or something, I would understand it. But this world seems quite nice. Why would you want to leave it? Or maybe, yes, I knew that. Maybe we'll find out in time. Surf, surf. Oh. Okay, this just got really journey esque. Journey had a surfing section with sand, but. Oh, this is this is clearly inspired by Journey, and that is not a bad thing. Nice. Hit hey, friend. Sagia Valley. Huh. I'm just gonna hit a checkpoint, and I think... Yep, there we go. I'm gonna come back to this one. I guess I've already hit it, technically. This game is very nice. I'd like to play it through. So that's what I'm going to do. But not right now, because it is late. And this was only a howler for an hour, after all. I'd wager, based on creature collection, that I am roughly... Oh, I don't know. Actually, hold on. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like this is a terribly long game. I feel like this might be like a 3-4 hour game. But I'd like to definitely finish this up. Maybe next stream. I'll see about it. Next stream is probably going to be... Something else I planned, but I don't know. I'll, I'll mix this in somewhere, because this is nice. And while I'd like to stop now, I definitely want to come back to it. So. A spirit or a familiar, I think the green creature is? That could make sense. It probably it does seem kind of linked to us in some way. But that was Omno, or Omno. I'm still not sure exactly how to pronounce that, but it is a lovely game. This is very nice, very Journey-esque. Wonderful presentation. This is definitely the best game of the night. Um, yeah, it's just really pretty. I, I definitely, I'm definitely coming back to this one. That's all I could say, really. It's actually hard to say a lot about this game. 
Because there was just moments where I didn't want to say anything. I just wanted the atmosphere to do its thing. I didn't want to interrupt it. And if I don't want to interrupt a game, that means the game's doing something right, you know? Like, it's doing something really right. Impressive. I recommend picking this one up if you feel like this is something up your alley. If you like games like Journey, uh, this is good. This is very, very good, and I recommend picking it up. But I will continue and complete this game later because I'm now I'm I want to know the rest of the story is I want to see the rest of the areas and the animals and stuff. So uh, we will come back to Omno in the near future. But as for now, that was this a lovely experience. <laughs>